Empowering you, the grassroots activist. Here is Dr. Chaps. A court in Canada has found that atheism is not a religion and therefore has denied an application for charitable exempt status from the Canadian Church of Atheism. Fox News reports that a federal court in Canada has ruled that the self-titled Church of Atheism, and by the way, why do they use the word church? Are they trying to be Christians? They're not. But anyway, they're not a religion. Atheists are not religious? Well, I could have told you that, but now the court agrees and therefore they cannot be treated like a religion for tax exemption purposes. The Court of Appeals upheld the refusal by a Minister of National Revenue. And by the way, why are the tax collectors calling themselves ministers? But, but anyway, uh, to register the Church of Atheism on Central Canada as a charity, even though it claimed to have a minister and a sacred text called the Ten Commandments of Energy. Atheists have now have the Ten Commandments of Energy, they say where they said they practiced their quote, doctrine of mainstream science, end quote. Now they have doctrines and commandments in the Church of Atheism. The court said the organization failed to demonstrate the necessary elements of a belief system. They don't have a belief system, said the court. According to the court documents, the church had argued the following, quote, We believe that our 10 commandments of energy are sacred texts because they were created by a wise human being who consists of pure invisible energy and has acknowledged energy's existence, end quote. Well, the court said that's a bunch of hooey and the ruling comes as Justice Marianne Rivelin and the non-for-profit corporation failed to meet common law guidelines for what constitutes a religion, saying the group's description of the sacred text, quote, provides no detailed information as to the particular and comprehensive system of faith and worship, end quote. In other words, they don't have a Bible, they just have some ideas they wrote down on paper. That's not a sacred text, has no tradition behind it. The church, however, argued that the ministry's denial was discrimination claiming that it could be a charity because it contributes to the advancement of religion, or is it non-religion? A condition needed to get tax exempt status according to CTN News Canada. Unfortunately for the church, religion is undefined and it was left up to the court to decide of this specific expression of atheism, should it qualify. Rivlin ruled the following, quote, Given the scope and vagueness of what was asserted here, it was reasonable for the minister to deny the appellant under the heading of advancement of religion, end quote. And that's the news. Our thanks to Fox News for that report. Uh, Let's take a moment and discern the spirits. In this story, we have atheists who are being deceptive and and deceitful, honestly. When, When they say they're advancing religion, but traditionally they've advanced atheism. In other words, not God or not religion. It's right there in their name. They're atheists, they're against God. So how can they claim to be for God and and say that they have a church, they have sacred texts, they have belief in energy, whatever they, no, 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 no. The court is calling them out as the authors of darkness, not promoting the Lord of light. Here's what the Bible says in Ephesians 4, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that was in them, because of the blindness of their heart. Let's pray about this, would you pray with me? Father in heaven, we pray in Jesus' name. For all of those uh, formerly atheist complainers that, that somehow they've had a conversion to become a religious people, Father, we pray that it would be a true conversion next time. That their anti-Christian activity, their mockery of everything that is sacred, their imitation of sacred texts uh, would be not only seen through as the court saw through it, but pierced by the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ that would move into their hearts and replace the darkness and fill them with your glory. Father, we pray they would become true believers in your gospel, in Jesus' name, amen.
Reading today's headlines, doesn't it seem sometimes like the world is unreal? We hear about rumors of wars and we see legislative and cultural battles here in America. But where is our hope? I think it's in the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're offering now a, a DVD series led by family ministry leader Vince Dacchioli, Real Christianity in an Unreal World. It behooves us to really understand what does it mean to be relevant as a Christian and to be real and to spread the gospel in a way to where more and more people will, be in, will embrace it and move yep. in the right direction. We can send you the entire DVD series, which is three-part teaching with Vince and a bonus of my personal testimony for a suggested donation of just $30 if you call now at 866-Obey-God. Or write to the address on your screen or visit PrayInJesusName.org. We want to rush you this important teaching to ground your faith in real Christianity. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now at 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.